Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be making my favorite dip of all times. I usually eat this, not all the time, obviously, because it is quite rich. And by rich, I mean fattening. So if you care about fattening things, then make this once in a while like I do. Um, and if you are the one that doesn't care about fattening foods and eats whatever, you guys are living it. And good for you. I wish I was like that. So this is my four cheese dip and it's basically a lot of cheeses and I'm going to be dipping it with my yellow corn chips. You can use also like, tor like tortillas, mm, bread, you know, whatever you guys have on hand, dip it. If you don't have anything to dip it with, use a spoon. I would not judge you for that. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to cut my spinach. Yes, there's spinach involved. You don't taste it. You actually don't taste it. Um, it's, what it is, is just for color, really. I'm going to be using fresh, fresh, fresh spinach. Um, I never buy frozen stuff unless it's fries and, like, hash browns and popsicles. <laughs> but uh, I try to stay away from frozen stuff. So I'm going to be using fresh spinach. Alright, so what I'm going to do, and I'm cooking Alfredo pasta on, on the, like the background, so you guys will be hearing other stuff there too, but my main focus right now will be the dip. If you are interested how I make my Alfredo pasta, then I might do that in another video. So right now, I'm just going to be, oh, this is going to be tough, but I'm just going to chop my spinach just roughly doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be cooking it in the pot to let it shrink. And once this shrinks, guys, it will be literally like that much spinach. In fact, I might need more. So I'm going to add a little, I'm going to add the whole thing, guys. Let's live. See how much spinach there is here, guys? Watch. Once I cook it, it's going to shrink. To like literally two tablespoons. Alright, I'm just going to keep chopping my spinach. I went from hating spinach to loving spinach. Like, I'm addicted, addicted to spinach now. Like, I love spinach. I eat it every day. And it's like so good. Once you get into spinach... You have to kind of like train yourself into liking it. And once you actually finally like it, you actually really can't go back to not liking it. It's really good. All right. So I already have a pot behind me ready with some olive oil, a little bit of olive oil inside. So just so that my spinach won't stick. So I will take you guys over there thinking if I should go like that and then put it in. But I'm going to carry my camera. So I have another plan. I'm just going to put my chopped spinach back in its bin. And I'm going to take you guys over to my stove so you guys can see how I cook these. Alright guys, here is my little pot here that I put a little bit of olive oil as you guys can see. It's not much. I'm just spreading out the olive oil. Alright. So I'm going to add in my spinach, okay, it's on my stove's on like medium right now, and I'm just going to let this do its thing for about maybe like five minutes, I'll let you guys know, I'm going to put a timer on for five minutes, and after five minutes, I'm going to show you what it looks like, and if it needs more time, I will let you know. Alright guys, meanwhile, while your spinach is cooking, Leave your Philadelphia cream out so it's not cold. Just leave it room temperature. And uh, yeah, so it's easy to mix, you know. Alright guys, I'm just going to put it back on my wooden cutting board. Get it all out there because there's not that much spinach. Look guys, I'm left with that much only. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is... You guys remember how much I put in, right? 
Look how much it shrank. Alright, so this is still like really hot to work with. So I'm going to let this just chill here. Let it cool down before I even touch it because you guys just witnessed it did just come off the stove. So I'm just going to let that chill. So guys, meanwhile, I'm going to be chopping some of my red peppers and garlic. If you guys don't have red peppers you guys can also use green peppers orange peppers yellow peppers oh there goes my timer i took it off one minute before guys the five minute hit so i it was on the stove for four minutes um if you guys don't have any veggies on hand whatever you don't use veggies just use it just use cheese all right so i'm just gonna be chopping this into really small pieces um, this is a quite a bit of patience, guys. Um, yeah, quite a bit of patience. So, if you guys watched my latest video on my channel of, um, Sombra the Explorer, you guys would probably, you guys probably had read my little text in the in like the beginning of the game that I am back into competitive next season guys I'm so kind of excited and a little nervous to be honest because losing games is like such a, a shitty feeling but it is so fun it is so fun um, but yeah and I look forward to the new competitive as well new competitive is gonna be so much better I think than the current competitive. All right, now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use a bigger knife to chop it even smaller, guys. So, I know guys, it's a lot of work here, but it's really worth it, honestly. This red pepper will bring a little, no. This red pepper will bring a little crunch <coughs> a little crunch to the dip and it's really good that crunch if you guys are having like a game night party with your friends or just a party with, with yourself too while playing video games like me 99% of the time I'm having my own little gaming party at home okay this is like almost really tiny piece all right this is like almost done as small as I want it I do want it a little bit smaller but I'll be here for hours honestly just chopping so this is good enough so I'm going to be using my bowl my mixing bowl to put my chopped red peppers in now I'm going to chop in my garlic guys Garlic is a little bit of patience as well because it has to be really, really small or else you're going to be tasting big chunks of garlic if it's not small and you don't want that. You don't want to taste a big chunk of garlic in your food, you know. That is just a no-no. And I'm not saying I'm a chef. I am not a chef at all, guys. Not even close to being a chef. But I know a thing or two of cooking because I have been cooking since I got married. I Before I got married, I never used to cook. My mom used to cook. And I just used to eat her food. And that's it. I didn't cook at all, to be honest. I think the only thing I used to cook was like craft dinner. Um, but ever since after I got married, I just started cooking, guys. And yeah, it's been so fun. So let's keep chopping, keep chopping. See? That's how fine you want it. Actually, a little bit more fine. Alright guys, this looks like it's about done. It's red because of the red pepper I was chopping earlier. So that's how fine you want it to be. So I'm going to put it in here along with my chopped red peppers. I added like two cloves of garlic. That, this piece I'm just going to...
going to put it back in the fridge. Just put it there for now. <laughs> Alright, this seems like it is fine to work with now. Grab yourself a bowl. You could do this over the sink, but I'm just going to do it here so you guys can see what I'm doing. So grab all your spinach in your hand like that. Now watch all the juices, guys, that will come out. You want all the liquids to be out of your food. If you guys don't do this, then your dip is going to be very, very moist and very watery. And you don't want that. So just, I'm just going to keep going and I will show you guys what it looks like. Alright guys, that's the liquid that came out of the spinach. I'm just going to leave that aside for now. Alright guys, so now I'm left with literally that much. You guys seen how much I worked with? It was literally like... Two cups, maybe one and a half cup, to this. <laughs> Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and chop it. I like it really small. So I'm going to chop this. So yeah, I've been really enjoying these cook with me videos. Um, a lot, guys. I love cooking and... You know, I love making videos in general. Making videos is like so much fun. Like recording and then going back and editing it into making it even better. It's just so much fun. And I really enjoy making videos. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, guys, subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more cook with me videos. A lot more competitive Overwatch next season though. And I am thinking about getting the new expansion pack for Sims that came out in July for console. It's um, Tropical Paradise, and I do want to get that. Um, I'll get it probably this month, so you guys may even see some of that on my channel. Alright guys, so since I chopped it very, very, very small, I'm going to go ahead and crumble it in here. Along with my garlic, my red peppers chopped garlic and red peppers all right all right guys that's how it looks like inside so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wash my hands clean my cutting board and i will show you guys the next step okay guys i'm back so i have my chopped ingredients in here now what i'm gonna do is I had my Philadelphia cream already out for maybe an hour. It's room temperature. So let's open it up. If you guys had it out already, it should be easy to mix in. Um, but if you guys haven't, I would recommend keeping it out for a little bit. Just because it's easier to mix, guys. And if you're impatient and you just want to put it in right out of the fridge, put it in. You can do that. I've done that because I, I'm impatient too sometimes. Um, it, it'll just take a longer to mix it. Just keep that in mind. Now, I don't measure, guys. If you watched one of my um, first Cook With Me videos, um, I mentioned I don't measure. I only measure... Look at me pointing the knife. I only measure in baking. But when it comes to cooking, I forget about it, guys. Once you're confident about cooking, like, you won't measure. Alright, so, as you guys can tell, this is a lot of cream cheese. I'm not going to obviously put the whole thing in there. So, I'm just going to be putting in half. Half, 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 half. In here. In it goes. And this other half, I'm going to be using it for my... Alfredo pasta. I'm not going to use all of it. I might just use half. So I'll show you guys what my Alfredo pasta looks like as well once it's done. I'm just marinating my meat right now, my chicken, to add inside my pasta. So once that's marinated, I'm going to start cooking my pasta too. Oh, I should put this back in the fridge. Uh, actually, no, since I'm going to be putting it in my Alfredo pasta in like a little bit, I can just leave it out. Right? So, now that my Philadelphia cream's in there, I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese as well. Um, I don't think I'll just add a little bit, you know, guys. See? I just added that much. Not much. Maybe like 
a tablespoon. I should mention, guys, you should preheat your oven. Um, preheat your oven to 400. Sorry, guys, my camera stopped rolling. I didn't know it stopped rolling until literally now. But I'm at the part where I added some craft cheese. I added oh, not much, guys, like literally like maybe two tablespoons. Um, I added my cream cheese, as you guys already saw that. I added some Parmesan cheese, like two or one tablespoon, not much. Um, and I just started mixing it, and that's all you guys missed. Um, yeah, I should keep checking to see if it's rolling. Sometimes it just shuts down. I don't know why it does that. So that's all you guys missed, guys. So it, sh it looks like this. Um, after mixing it all together, um, so remember I added my marble cheese, Parmesan cheese, and my cream cheese, and I just mixed it all together, guys. Um, yeah, so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding some seasonings, guys. So I'm going to be adding some onion powder. Um, I'm just going to be using this. It's a half a tea. It's a half a teaspoon, guys. I don't really measure, like I said. I'm only using this because it's the easiest spoon I have to get in here. <laughs> and you guys can also even see how much I'm putting in. So half a teaspoon of that of onion powder, garlic powder. You don't have to add half a teaspoon. I'm gonna add paprika, but at the end, you guys will see what I do with the paprika. All right, now mixing it together. So you want to preheat your oven to 400. Let that preheat um, while we assemble this together. Uh, you guys may need to add a tiny bit of salt. Don't add too much because there's so many cheeses in here and cheese is quite salty. And I'm also going to be adding a medium cheese on top. So this is also quite salty too. So just add a little bit. I'm and that's very little, guys. Just that much of salt. Just a pinch. Just a pinch of salt, guys. No more. Just adding that little pinch of salt is just going to waken up everything. I'm going to be using these dishes to put in the, um, to let it all bake in. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Alright, guys. I'm just going to add literally a drop of olive oil in my in my baking pot just so my anything doesn't stick and I'm just gonna use this brush so I'm just gonna brush it all on the sides just so it just doesn't stick you know why make something so delicious and if you can't get it out of out of the baked dish all right so this is what I'm gonna do guys Grab a spoonful. Spread it in there. Actually, I could probably fit all this in one. Yep, it will fit in one. I got this dirty for no reason, but that's okay. Scoop it all out guys, don't leave anything behind, this is all good stuff. Use your finger if you have to. Alright guys, this is my favorite part now. Look at that, that looks so good. If you guys ever been to Kelsey's, um, they also serve this. And that inspired me to make my own because, oh my god, theirs is so good. Alright, now grab some sharp cheddar cheese, guys. This will just push it over the edge, I'm telling you guys. This will just push it over the edge. So let's shred all this. We have shredded a more, but that's okay something to munch on while I make my Alfredo pasta. 
So I hope everyone's going to have a great weekend. It is Saturday here and I am cooking dinner like usual. Alright guys, so I'm going to put my cheddar cheese on top. Guys, I can't wait to eat this. I like really can't. Remember guys, it's rich. <laughs> it's rich. Okay, I definitely shredded a lot more cheese than I needed, but whatever, that's okay. All right, so my oven's preheating right now. It's not ready because I literally preheated it a bit later than I should have. The corner. This is going to be so cheesy, guys. All right, last step. Last step, guys. If you guys have cayenne pepper, that will work. I don't have cayenne pepper. I have paprika. Which is fine. Literally add a pinch, guys. A pinch. Like that much. And just sprinkle it on top. And this would also just push it over the edge. Okay, I think this is too much, so I'm going to put this back. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Alright, I'm going to wash my hands, and then I will show you guys the next step. Alright guys, I washed my hands, so I'm just going to let this sit on top of my oven since my oven hasn't been preheating. And once it's ready to go in, I will show you guys that. Anyways guys, I'm going to start prepping for my dinner now. Um, this is just a snack for my gaming that I will eat later, but I'm going to be getting, I'm going to be prepping for dinner now. Um, and I will show you guys when it's ready to go in the oven though. Alright guys, so I cleaned up. I have everything ready now. So what is there left to do is to put this in the oven 400 and I'm going to be putting it in for 18 minutes and I will show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Also guys, look at my chicken alfredo I made. I just took it out of the oven and it's gluten-free pasta. Guys, this is the pasta I use, gluten-free Anyways, guys, I got a new sweater. Um, what do you guys think? I got it from Pink. But even though it's not pink, it's still from Pink. I have the air conditioner on, so my apartment is pretty cool. Um, and I've just been home cooking. Like usual, guys. Like usual. <laughs> um, yeah, so once the food is ready, I'm going to be playing some Overwatch. So I'll see you guys in 18 minutes. And I will show you what my food looks like when it's done. Well, my family's food. We're all going to eat bubbly and really hot. So I'm going to let it cool. I have my chicken alfredo pasta right here. I'm just going to eat it now. Gluten-free, much healthier and lighter. And I have my Diet Coke. 